Until I moved to Washington, I'd never tried an oyster, but ever since that first bite, I've become a convert. And hands down, my favorite type of oyster is Washington's only native oyster, the Olympia. Olympia oysters have been enjoyed for the better part of 6,000 years and were a critical part of indigenous life in the region. But their dramatic rise in popularity in the late 19th and early 20th centuries pushed their populations to decline. Luckily, there's been a lot of work to restore native ollies and their habitat throughout the Sound. In 1998, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife released their Olympia Oyster Stock Rebuilding Plan. And since then, there have been successful restoration projects throughout the region. Nonprofits like the Puget Sound Restoration Fund have been working with tribes, shellfish growers, and more to restore the Olympia and its native habitat. In 2020, the Restoration Fund reached their goal of restoring 100 acres of habitat. Olympia oyster beds create habitats for fish and invertebrate species, they improve water quality through their filter feeding, and contribute to the natural biodiversity of the region. There's even research indicating that Olympia oysters might be better suited to survive increasing ocean acidification since their growth rate is slower than that of other oysters. According to the Native Olympia Oyster Collaborative, there are restoration projects occurring up and down the West Coast from as far south as Newport Beach all the way up to Drayton Harbor in Washington. With so many restoration projects in the works, we're starting to see Washington's official oyster make a big comeback, and hopefully that trend continues.